It is the year 79, and the dawn of the... What? Hey, wait a minute. Shit. It is the year 79, and the dawn of the common era. The golden ages of the ancient civilizations have long since faded. The gods no longer walk among the people of Rome, and the stories of Odysseus and Atalanta have long faded into myth and legend. Eclipsed by the shadow of the rising Roman Empire, twilight has fallen across the age of heroes. At the foot of Mount Vesuvius lies Pompeii, a sprawling city. Without warning, the mountain is racked with earthquakes and erupts into smoke. Across the Bay of Naples, Gaius Plinius Secundus, now 75, commands the Roman navy from Misena. Although he has always been a soldier first, Pliny has spent a lifetime in pursuit of nature's secrets and he is immediately awe-stricken by the pine-shaped cloud rising on the other side of the bay. Suddenly a messenger arrives from Pompeii with a plea for help from a friend. An evacuation of the city is underway, but she fears they will not be able to escape in time. And he immediately summons a fleet of ships and sets sail for Pompeii. As Pliny's fleet approaches the shore, clouds from Vesuvius eclipse the sun. Rocks begin to shower across the ships, and Pliny is forced to abandon his rescue mission, changing course for the nearby town of Stabia. By now, it is nearly as dark as night above Pompeii and Stabia. As Vesuvius shudders with aftershocks, the building that Pliny and his soldiers have taken shelter in becomes unstable. They quickly leave town and head south to try and escape the growing cloud. Suffering from severe asthma, Pliny requires support as he staggers to the above with the rest of the group. His airway inflamed, he collapses. Pliny's comrades cannot afford the burden of a body if they are to escape the clouds. Pliny's corpse is left behind. The body of Gaius Plinius Secundus will be discovered under the ash weeks later, dressed and perfectly preserved. In death, the Admiral will appear to be peacefully asleep. The end of a true hero.